Thanksgiving and personal points, we can do this. Today I am sharing some different ways that we can lighten up our dishes for this Thanksgiving season. Turkey is usually the main part of Thanksgiving dinner. For most of us, turkey and personal points is zero points. But if you don't like turkey and you'd rather have ham, ham is one point per ounce. So you can get three ounces of ham for three points, four ounces of ham for four points, you get it. Now let's start talking about all the sides. The sides of Thanksgiving are my favorite. I actually could just do without turkey and eat the sides. We always have mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes have milk and butter. You can always use fat-free milk. And for butter, I like to use the I can't believe it's not butter sticks. I find mine at Walmart. If you can't find these, there are other butters that you can use that's less points. Weight Watchers makes it pretty easy for us to figure out how many points per side dish that we have by using their recipe builder. Don't be shy. Get in your app and build a recipe. I was also thinking that if I didn't want to do mashed potatoes and add in the milk and butter, I could always do sweet potatoes, which are zero points for me, or I could always do roasted potatoes and I could add some time to it to make it extra special, and that's zero points. But I was looking around the Pound Droppers website. She has some really good recipes. She has a sweet potato casserole that looks mouth-watering delicious. Each of her recipes has the nutrition facts in it. Most of them, you can just click it and it'll take you right into your Weight Watcher app and figure in your personal points for you, which is pretty amazing. For this casserole, we could get three-fourths of a cup for four to six points, which is 178 calories. Most years we make stuffing. This stuffing recipe has been in my family, well, for as long as I can remember. This was handed down by my mom. We always break up bread and we put it in a big bowl, and let the bread dry out. I add in celery and onions, potatoes, a little bit of potato water, it needs that starch, a little bit of butter, salt, pepper, and poultry seasoning. It is fantastic. But I was thinking, how can I lighten up this recipe? Well, instead of the full calorie bread, I could use a less calorie bread, like this Sara Lee Delight bread. It's only 45 calories per slice, which is one point per slice. Potatoes for me are free. Onion and celery are also zero points. So in my recipe builder, I would just have to calculate the bread and the butter. Everything else is zero points for me. I will have our stuffing video and the recipe linked below. Another choice for stuffing would be stovetop. I can get a half a cup of stovetop for about three to four points. This is really good. All the work is done for you. You just add water, a little bit of butter, and you have a delicious tasting stuffing. And I believe they have a turkey flavor out for Thanksgiving. Corn is usually a must at Thanksgiving. And for a half a cup of corn, it is three points. I don't know if I'll be making canned or frozen. Green beans, canned or frozen, zero points. But I wanna make them special. So I looked around online and I found a green bean casserole. For a half a cup, it's five to seven points and just 200 calories. I usually bake up some rolls because I love turkey on a roll, especially for the next day. A roll like Sister Schubert's will run about three to four points. Or if you prefer biscuits, they do have a thin biscuit and those run about three to four points per biscuit. You can make homemade gravy or do what I do and kind of cheat a little bit. I buy the jarred turkey gravy. For the Heinz brand, you can get a fourth cup for only one point. A fourth cup doesn't sound like much, but honestly, it really is. Gravy goes a long way. I love jellied cranberries. I actually crave this at Thanksgiving. Well, <laughs> I looked it up and for a fourth cup of jellied cranberries, it is seven points. Seven. That is like a meal, if not more. <gasps> so I started doing some digging and I come across a cranberry sauce. For a half a cup of this cranberry sauce, it is zero to two points or 59 calories. Okay, time for dessert. Usually for Thanksgiving, we have pumpkin pie. So I went onto Walmart's website and I looked up pumpkin pie. 
they had Marie Callender's frozen pie or they had the fresh bakery pie and I was like fresh bakery pie sounds delicious they had a 8 inch or 10 inch that you can choose from but hold up hang on <laughs> 1 8 of an 8 inch pumpkin pie is 17 points 17 points okay I started letting this sink in a little bit and I was like wait a second I get 21 points a day if I had one eighth of an eight inch pie, so you're talking a teeny tiny piece of pumpkin pie, for 17 points, that would leave me four points for the day. I could have turkey and a teeny tiny piece of pumpkin pie. That's insane. You know what I did next. Yep, I started digging. I found a crustless pumpkin pie, one sixth of the pie, that sounds so much better. It's a bigger piece. One six, I can handle that. And it is only zero to one point. 54 calories is all the crustless pie is. But if you really want a crust, don't worry, I got you covered. I looked that up too. I found a lightened up graham cracker crust. It's four points or just 99 calories. And don't forget to top your pumpkin pie with some no sugar whipped cream or almond milk whipped cream. These two are my all time favorite. This one I find in a three pack at Sam's Club. This one I find at Target. Super delicious. You would never know that they do not have sugar. You can't tell, seriously. And I'm picky when it comes to sugar free. All of the recipes that I mentioned are linked below for you. I hope you and your family have a wonderful Thanksgiving and seriously, don't worry about it. Enjoy your Thanksgiving meal. These recipes and ideas that I shared with you today are just going to help you cut the corners and cut out some of those calories and fats and still enjoy a delicious, fulfilling meal. Don't worry, I have more Weight Watcher videos for you to enjoy. Here are two to help keep us on track. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.